Yeah. So let's. Oh, so yeah. why don't? Yeah. Yes. I, I'm. I'm in full agreement. Like, yes, make it. Make it. Make it. Yeah. It's part of Steve Stockman stuff, right? The one that was one of the major takeaways from that book. Like, if you want somebody to watch your stuff, you can't put them to sleep, right? Right. Right. And you know, I'm, I'm never asleep when you're talking, but I also reckon I've also been in classrooms where you do talk about the significance of learning or learning how to learn. And I, and I, and you know, students. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> when you say you're never asleep, like that, you're the one. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Steve's the second one, right? No, no, no. Favor, like you, you, when your head nods, you like pull it back up, right? Like, even if the goal was like to help students think about learning how to learn, we might leverage comedy in positioning them to yes. then think deeply about that. Yes. And, and you know, you, you don't have the full luxury to do that because you're freaking tasked to talk about Green's theorem and Maxwell's theorem, but, but we have all the freedom that we have in these meetings. So yes. we should stretch. I'm, I'm so, that, so from that standpoint, like, yes, let's play. And the fact of the matter is like in my, my personal life, I'm actually kind of a joker. Like I'm constantly sarcastic and et cetera. But I, because I have a position of power, if I come into the classroom and start being like, oh, that was a nice try. <laughs> you know, like, ah. <laughs> I, I don't, I, I tend not to, yeah. But and from the standpoint of making it engaging, yeah, I'm so down. Yeah. And, and you know, I, I know another reason why you actually don't tap into your full sense of humor, Jeff, for your, when you're teaching is, is something that we touched on in the past, which is you recognize you are not the ones holding the full degree into the hands of your students, right? Meaning to say they're going to, that, that term is going to end and they're going to be dropped into Parkley's classroom or David Taylor's classroom. And as much fun as you would like to have with your students, as much as you would like to experiment with your students, ultimately you have to not only cover the syllabus, but, but prepare them for those settings. But with our, I think with our YouTube space, um, we can empathize with those students and the fact that the settings of where they're going to be dropped in and what they're going through right now. Mm -hmm. And, and then, you know, kind of like turn that focus into learning how to learn, for example. Yeah.